today we're going to be playing some of Pilento's fairly recent idea. Um, it's Fatigue Mage, Mill Mage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Deckless is on the right side of the screen there, hopefully. Uh, I think I set that up correctly. But the idea is kind of to uh, take advantage of Duplicate, Echo of Medivh, and just get a bunch of taunts and stuff to help you go late game in your hand. Also, you have uh, Cold Light Oracle uh, for card draw, but it also causes them to draw cards. Um, it's not super mill strategy, it's just to get resources out of their deck. And then you also have the 2-8 taunt uh, Death Lord or something like that, uh, that has... Uh, that when it dies, it pulls a minion from their deck and puts it on the field. And uh, what that essentially is doing is getting resources out of their deck. And they fatigue several turns before you do. And hopefully you get to duplicate an Alexstrasza and just keep your life total uh, up pretty high compared to theirs. I don't know how to do against Control Warrior, but we will find out. The issue is, he's going to have a lot of armor, because this deck isn't about hitting his face. He also has a lot of legendaries I really don't want Death Lord to pull. Point out a sludge bulger here. Give him a better target to hit. Shade of Natural Amos, that's not something you see in every warrior deck. I mean, I get it, they go really late, so... I think I'm content to just leave it at that. Next turn, he'll probably kill this off, get the minion. Maybe even play a minion, and I can cross Nova Doomsayer. Wow. I think that might be worth cross Nova Doomsayer. Granted, I could have Flamestruck next turn. Maybe that would have been the better play. <laughs> it probably is the better play. He could waste some resources, though, damaging that and hitting it with Execute. It may still pay out. If he used two resources to kill that Doomsayer, it would actually be pretty okay with that transaction. Back to work. As he did, and now the Flamestruck is going to be better. Totally planned, everyone. Totally planned. I hope it feels that way to him. Burr. 
burrowing mine. I don't like that at all. I have a feeling that's gonna kill me behind Ice Block. Hmm. I'm sure there's something else I'd rather polymorph. I was gonna draw, I should have drawn first, but I hadn't thought about drawing yet. Okay with that transaction. I can take the hit. Go ahead, Alex Straza. Is this having big game hunter? Play explosive sheet. Echo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I play two in cold light, then I won't overdraw, but I'll cold light first. Not a super powerful move, but gives me options. Brawl. Back to work. Okay. The only reason I put down the sheep was to get another one in my hand, but I guess that's silly I thinking. Made to fit. Tadingo! <laughs> yeah. Does dingo? Yeah. I'm wondering if he even has all of these specific legendaries. I mean, he plays Shade, and he also has his dingo, so he may not have all of the different specific legendaries. Alright, play this duplicate down. Hope he kills 3-3. Three, three. That's fine, you can have your armor. There's nothing I can really do about that right now. Yes! Oh no! I'm gonna mill a card. Oh well. Alex Shaw's is really the only super vital card I don't want to mill. This is good for my control tank. Kind of funny. Get two, lose one. Oop. That one. Alright. I'm fairly okay with that transaction. I should have sheep burned first. Would that have mattered?
shoot. I feel that I most definitely misplayed there. Now how to make the best of it. Got excited that I actually had a MCT that was actually gonna hit something. Yeah, I think I need to shoot. And then I'll play the ice block. I'm sorry. Guess I took a little long there. I think that's polymorph worthy. Dang it. Oh well, I have two empty kill bots to make up for it. He has so much health. Really thinks that Shraza does almost nothing to him. Okay, so that's less armor armor he'll get. Killbot here. But he, had, if he has an Alexstrasza, I don't want to give him too much value on that. Maybe I just play my Alexstrasza. Yes. Leave the stealth minion stealthed. Bromish Taskmaster, Taskmaster combo. Got the beast in my side. That's fine. Wish that would have been another duplicate there, though. Do our Frost Nova. Try to Frost Nova Doomsayer. Is that a greedy? Yeah, it's greedy. I like it, though. that just in case it lives through the doomsayer because he deals with the doomsayer <clears throat> and then I can flame strike it I kill bot. Save the other kill bot for when I have another duplicate. The reason I heal botted is because I didn't want him to be able to Gromish and pop that ice block. Okay, he's setting for a Gromish play next turn. Maybe not though, like I said, he may not have all those legendaries. He are, he's playing a lot of different cards that you don't, well, you don't ever, not, not don't, I was about to say you don't usually, but you don't ever see this kind of text. Well, things I don't want to get the Cold Light Oracle, that actually hurts me here, but I'm not going to duplicate just yet. 
I will polymorph. Okay, it's chance to kill a cold by Oracle, then I'll play the other anti kill bot and duplicate. Does he have a way to win in his hand? Armor made to fit. Alright. Did he kill that all for me? I very much appreciate it. Truth is my shield. At least he's playing correctly. He's trying to go to face because he realizes he has to take me out, and he knows what that other secret is. But I have so much stall in my hand right now. I'm almost out of cards. I think it's okay to pour out all my resources because only has three cards in hand. Now, does he kill one of these? If he does, if he ever kills one of these, then I'm guaranteed to win. As it stands right now, I think his fatigue, the rate it's going at, is going to get him anyways, but he is still at. 37 life as opposed to my 16. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and play out Big Game Hunter because it's unlikely that I'm gonna get value with him now. And I need to start just bashing him in the face. I'll get full value out of those because I'll draw fatigue and well played, sir. And it was really well played. He just, fortunately, Wallet Warrior isn't Wallet Warrior without the wallet. So that's the fatigue mage. I think it's really, really solid. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that picture there and actually just go look at the deck in the collection um i said a lot of bad stuff about it recently i had a buddy um spectate me and i was playing it. i'd never seen it before i thought it was awful um but it got me close to fatigue and i'm like you know what it is feasible maybe that guy just didn't play it right and i'd like to think that i did play it fairly correctly today i don't know if i would have been able to handle a full scale wallet warrior with all the legendaries but um overall i really like the deck um you know, you have the control staples like Doomsayer, Frost Nova, or Doomsayer and, uh, you know, Cone of Cold, Blizzard. We have your board wipes. Um, in addition to that being Flame Strike, Blizzard by itself. Uh, let's see. You have the sheep combo. Now, when you can echo a sheep and play another sheep before you kill yours, it actually is, is worth the echo. Um, because that's a, that's a Flame Strike, you know, across the board. Um... Then you have individual kills, like Big Game Hunter, Polymorph, uh, Frostbolt can be. Typically you want the Frostbolt to just hold off those giant guys. Um, but then you get more resources, because a lot of your resources are creature based, so you get more resources with Duplicate, with Echo. Uh, Antique Killbot is obviously essential, you saw that because I duplicated Antique Killbot there at the very end, that I... Uh, ended up basically guaranteeing the wind. The wind? Oh, what does that just say? The wind. But it's also funny how the one card I milled myself the whole game was an anti kill bot. So I duplicated off of the same anti kill bot twice and had five of them, even though I milled one. It worked out really well. 
really good. Sorry, words are difficult this morning for some reason. Sludge Bulger slows them down, obviously. You duplicate or echo a Sludge Bulger, things just get really annoying for them. Um, Cold Light and Death Lord just to get resources out of their deck. Mind Control Tech, because they will have a board of things. Um, that's just going to happen when you're not playing things to trade with yourself. And then, of course, you have Alex Straza. Alex Straza just really just... It's, it's good. Um, it keeps Ice Block from being popped on your side. Uh, which you don't want Ice Block to get popped as it's your only one. Um, if you get the chance to duplicate it, you can just keep on resetting over and over and over. And then when you finally need it, you can use an Alex Straza to uh, drop them to 15, uh, get that damage in, and just start going to uh, face. Overall, I think this deck is actually really good. Um, it's not an overly expensive one to craft, um, being that there's only one Legendary in it. Now, I understand that there's, you know, there's some epics in here as well, like Big Game Hunter, but everyone should have a Big Game Hunter at this point. Uh, Doomsayer might, might be one that not everyone has, depending if they haven't played Control Mage before. Um, let's see. Of course, Sludge Vulture is free with Nax if you buy Nax, so it's not super free. Uh, everything else though, rares, commons, um, you know, just fairly cheap stuff. But I'm only going to play that one game today. I think that I did pretty well demonstrating how the deck is intended to work, and it, it is very much a fatigue mage, not necessarily a mill mage, because you're not causing them to draw a bunch of cards. You're just going super long game, uh, and it's, it's just really efficient. Anyways, if you like what we see, continue to... You know, uh, watch our videos, subscribe, like, comment, whatever you want to do. You all have a nice day.